Good morning. <laughs> oh, it's so early. Let's get our asses up. You hungry? Here. Ooh, wow, that was a perfect pour. I have a hair appointment today. How old did I just look? I'm just getting my hair toned red again. Oh my God. This improves joint mobility and lubrication, supports cardiova cardiovascular health, and improves skin hydration, firmness, and tone. I've seen videos of girls using this after a week, and the hair on their head, like crazy baby hairs coming up. Come here, come on, mommy. Come on, mommy's lap. <laughs> What's the matter, baby? You still sleepy? You still sleepy, baby. Mommy, too. Mommy's tired. I love you. So despite having a lot to do, I am going to take a couple minutes to do my journaling. This is what I do every morning. I feel like it just helps me get in um, the right headspace and really calm down, not rush into things, evaluate my day, um, what I want to take out of it, what I got out of yesterday. So I always start with my five-year journal. This is actually funny. The question for today is what was the last restaurant you went to? And I went to Carmine's and last night, my husband and I went to Carmine's for pizza night. But we got a gift card from my godmother and they have a crazy pizza deal. The pizzas are like this big for $5.99. It's insane. I successfully I'm on five days for dry January, dryuary. So the next journal is my five minute journal and this is a positivity journal. This one has a little bit more thought that goes into it. So I start off finishing yesterday's page because you're basically evaluating like nighttime. And I asked you for three amazing things that happened and how could you have made yesterday even better? And then today I will go through what I am grateful for, what would make today great, and um, my daily affirmation. So a daily affirmation is you speaking something to exi into existence as if it's already happened. So, wow, this is crazy. Mine yesterday was, I am so happy to sell two insurance policies today. I did sell two insurance policies yesterday. I didn't know what yesterday was going to be like um, being the first day back from like that weird two week holiday period and just being the beginning of the year. And I did sell two and I had over well over two dozen referrals come in. So to put that into perspective, I usually sell, I want to say like 25 policies a month. That's what I usually sell. And I had that amount come in in one day. Like what? <laughs> it's crazy. Dude, what am I going to say today? I'm going to be the prettiest redhead in all the land. So since there's still 45 minutes before my office opens up, I am going to bang out all those referrals, get them submitted to my um, guardian my guardian angel, my work guardian angel. I do want to show you guys what my hair looks like currently. So the red has faded a ton. We did lighten it um, before she did the red. She did a lot of balayage to make it pop like higher. So that's why it looks so much lighter than normal. This is my natural color. I have super dark brunette, but it's just like a mousy flat brown, which we're not about. So this is how long my hair is. It's really long because I am going to be sitting um, in a hair salon for a little while. I want to be comfortable. So I just picked up this set from H&M. I grabbed the sweatshirt and a medium and the joggers. These are so nice. They're soft and thick. I think I got these in a small. Yep, in a small. So I'm going to wear these with this ribbed bodysuit from Abercrombie. Abercrombie has the best bodysuits, thong, 
bottom. So I'm going to try this on right now and see how it fits. Hopefully it's okay. Here are the pants. They're actually really big for a small. Um, don't size up if you're looking for a super comfy fit. I have them tied as tight as possible and look at that. So they are really comfortable. Just have them rolled up with heavy socks on and I'll show you it with the sweatshirt. Okay, this is large. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna try it on with my high top Converse and a leather, ugh, a leather jacket to see if it helps dress this outfit up a little bit. The sweatshirt, the thermal, and the leather jacket was way too much. I was so, I honestly felt like a stuffed sausage. So I just put on the leather jacket over my white thermal and then the sweatpants. And this is how it looks. A little more ugh, put together for sweat. <laughs> oh my God, what is wrong with me? A little more put together for sweatpants out in public. I hiked them up a little bit to try and give me more of a waist. For perfume today, I think I'm gonna go with a sample. Since I have a lot, a lot of Kat Von D. Oh my God, what if it doesn't smell good though? Ah, oh, this one's bomb. Valentino born in Roma. This is like the scent this year. I'm gonna wear this one. Here we have it. Ah, look how long my hair is. Obviously it has a slight curl to it, but it usually hits like right under or right around here. And then from behind, from the side, she did a good job. I had her add a little bit more of um, a copper to, oh, you, you yawning? I had her add a little bit more of a copper so it's just a little bit warmer. Obviously you can still tell that it's red, but in certain lights it pulls a lot more orange. Hey guys, so it's the next day. God, I worked until way after 10 o'clock last night between getting caught up on insurance quotes and then finishing shirts, packing orders, um, printing labels, yeah. And then taking inventory photos. It was a long day, that's why I forgot to catch you up on everything. Okay, it's 11.30, I've been working all morning, and then I went to go run some errands, so I shipped all the orders, and then I went to CVS to make a return and pick up some new products. Realized I don't have my wallet, I didn't have my wallet. So I just went home, you can see Callie somewhere back here. She's coming with me for the ride. Now I'm heading back to CVS. So I picked up um, these nipple covers. I never ever wear bras. And I bought an open back sweater bodysuit from Abercrombie, like a knit sweater type. And I'm not gonna be able to wear a bra. So I'm hoping that this will work. I also think that we are running out of razors. So I grabbed this. I grabbed the e.l.f. camo concealer I've been using, um, the hydrating camo concealer, just in a different shade. The one I have is light peach. And I'm sure that's great to cancel out the purple, like blue hues in my under eyes, but it almost matches my foundation shade or like my skin color right now. So I want something that's a little brighter. So I picked up Fair Warm. I set my concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, but I've noticed after a couple hours of wear, it does cake up. So like it'll cake up right here on my uh, chin. There'll be a line. I get really deep set lines over here and then my eyes can tend to look a little under, look a little dry. So I grabbed the Maybelline Fit Me in fair light. It looks like it's a perfect shade with the concealer. And last but not least, I know it's super entertaining. Oh, shaving cream. I think I'm gonna have to pull over. I had set an alarm this morning for the Alani Nutrition um, Balance Powder that they just came out with, or they're coming out with today at noon. So I, like, I don't feel like this is a secret if you watch my channel. Um, fertility issues, I think, just struggling to get pregnant. 
um, since the miscarriage, there's been no signs of pregnancy. So I have seen wonderful reviews of women that have been struggling and then got pregnant when they were taking the balance capsule. Unfortunately, I am a three-year-old and can't swallow pills. Like I can't, I refuse if my life depended on it, I would die instantly, can't do it. And you have to swallow three of those pills a day and I'm just not about that life. So the fact that they're coming out with the powder is incredible. I, th I think I can make it home in 10 minutes, in nine minutes. I really need this, really, really need it. The powder is supposed to um, balance out your hormones whether you have cystic acne, uh, you can't sleep properly at night, mood swings, fertility issues, um, PICO symptoms, this I guess can regulate some of them. So there's so many benefits to it. It's a scoop a day. You're supposed to, you're supposed to drink it at the same time every single day to help regulate your body. And yeah, I want to get my hands on it. So I'll let you guys know in a couple minutes if I do. Cause... Good morning. <laughs> I look like a librarian. I think last time I checked in with you guys, I got my hair done and today I'm going to be going in and getting a facial. So if you've been following me for my skincare journey, it's it was rough last year, but I finally got the acne under control. I was going for a facial every four weeks in order to get all of that congestion out. But so far this winter, I've been at the point where I've been focusing on my acne scarring. So doing laser treatments, I received three photo facials at Avalon Medical Spa. So you can definitely tell that my acne scarring has lifted, but because I have taken such a break, on my facials, I can just feel congestion, like in my cheeks, um, not really my chin, in my forehead, I definitely feel congestion. So I'm going back into Avalon Medical Spa today to either get a hydrofacial or a facial. So I'll let her decide, she's the expert. And then I am going to go into my office for the first time in months. I work from home, I've been working from home since March, I've only been in my office twice since then, and I just don't feel like I need my own office. <laughs> it's just not necessary. So I have some artwork there. I have some decor there. I have um, a giant fake tree I bought. I just have a lot of stuff that's sitting there collecting dust. Hey. I just realized I never finished my vlog for you guys. I'm pretty sure the last thing I left off with was last week, me walking into my facial. I don't even know if I showed you my skin after. Um, clearly I have makeup on right now, but this is my skin situation. No texture, no acne, thank God. I know I'm rambling, but vlog is done here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next time I go in for some beauty treatments, I'll take you guys along with me.